<clears throat> it's like five o'clock in the morning, and um, I just had I just had a rapture dream, and uh, my fiance kids like on the other side of the door here, but did I gotta tell you guys, man? <clears throat> so uh, in this dream. It was, it was like me and my girl was departed, and like we was broke up or something. It's, you know, and um, I was meddling around with, like, doing other stuff, like, um, talking to this other girl or something. And, um, like, I had to leave or some sort, like, to be a, um, I don't know how to say it, I don't know, but in the mix of this, like I went to my Uncle Joe's or something, and um, I was taking a shower at his place, and um, like I got out, and I went into his living room or something, I don't even know guys, and um, all these uh, these other women and this, this my buddy and his his girl, their their couple, and um, they was all getting ready for like a um, go out drinking and whatnot to party, and there was a bunch of people in this, this living room, and um, and I walked in and and I said something. I still had soap in my hair and stuff like I was getting ready to or something, and um, I went back and and in the shower I got in the shower. And uh, uh, I like I got out, and, and my uncle Joe comes up to me, and he said, uh, and it, I heard thunderstorms, you know, like it was thunderstorming, and it was like, like he came up to me, me and him walked into another room, and like I could like, it was like either we was like heading outside or we stepped outside when we went to the other room. It was like we stepped outside. And it was like all dark clouds and it was thunderstorming. Just like today after the eclipse, it thunderstormed. And you could hear thunder just everywhere, just everywhere. And lightning and thunder and lightning and thunder. And my Uncle Joe, which me and my Uncle Joe just talked about God, you know, yesterday. Or yeah, day for yesterday. And um, he said, do you, do you hear that? It's like God's close. And he looked at me and said, God, close. And I was like, like, I, I kind of felt it. Like, I knew, like, yeah, yeah, I think he's close too. But I, I knew I wasn't really paying attention. And um, he said, God's close. And after he said that, like, I knew I had to be somewhere. to go. I had to go get something. And I, I was only going to be gone from these people people that was going to this bar or wherever we was going, I knew he was only going to be gone for a minute. Or I was only going to be gone for a minute. I was just going to leave him to go get something and come back. And, uh, so I left and somehow there's a semi and, like, there's a construction site again. And I'm right next to the semi for some reason in the middle of this construction site and and we go down this road and then the semi turns around and heads back and then I couldn't find what I was looking for for some reason for that party or whatever it was the shindig that I was going to I couldn't find what I was what I was looking for and then all of a sudden, as that semi went down, back down that road, it turned back around and started coming back at me. And I'm looking at it like, what is it doing, man? And it passes me. And then all of a sudden, for some weird reason, I don't know why I did this, but I set my phone down somewhere. And like on this, whatever, other construction site, I sat down on something. And as I sat down, I was, I, was, I was on a bike. This whole time I was on a bike. And as I sat down, I was riding on my bike. And I was like, oh man, I forgot my phone. And I said, damn it. 
and excuse my language, Lord Jesus, I apologize, I'm just explaining the video. I said, damn it. As soon as I said, damn it, guys, all these other people around me were standing next to me. There's construction workers, just random citizens came out of nowhere. Everybody started coming out of their houses, out of this construction site and all these houses and bars. And everybody's looking up in the air. And as I said, damn it, I look over at them and then I'm like, what are they doing? And I looked up in the sky and guys, like tornadoes of light bubbles, like, like little light bubbles, man, were going up in the air like this. And I knew, I was like, Lord Jesus, I kept saying in my mind, oh my gosh, this is the rapture and I'm missing it. I'm not going with it. And I said, Lord Jesus, wash me in the blood of Jesus, wash me in the blood of Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for cussing that. I'm just so sorry for what I've been doing. I'm sorry. I didn't make the better attempt that I was supposed to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just kept saying sorry. And I kept saying, wash me in the blood of Jesus. Take me now. Please take me now. I don't want to be left behind. And I didn't, I got left behind, guys. And I was scared, man. And I'm watching, I'm looking up in the sky, and these tornadoes of light bubbles are heading up into the sky, and they're heading up to heaven with Jesus, or however. And, uh, and I knew I was left behind, you know. Um, the, the, it was such an amazing view to see this though, and after that happened, after all these things were going up in the sky, dude, I turned around and I like, was walking through this like bar or something into the construction site, and I, I remember seeing my little buddy and a bunch of random strangers. <laughs> And uh, my buddy was like, nah, this isn't, this isn't real, man. This is, like, he was denying it. And a bunch of other people were talking and, and all kinds of stuff. And they were denying it. And he was like, nah, this can't be real, man. This can't be real. This, is, this has got to be fake, man. Like, we just couldn't believe it. And, uh, um, I, we went up somewhere and construction continued it, but this time after this construction and after everybody was like it was done and over and the rapture was over it was like the government had a plan and we went up to this like second story of this construction site and this lady outside was sitting in this like big old machine and she was drilling like a hole in the ground and I'm looking at her like, dude, why are you working when all that just clearly happened? Like, how could you even be working right now? And she was just focused. Like, I knew it was like the government or just like the devil or whatever. She just, she had it. She knew what she was doing. Like, she knew the rapture just happened. She knew she had a drill, and then she had a plan, you know, for us, for the humans, you know. And uh, so. After that, I was like, "Oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta find my kids. I gotta, I gotta find my baby mama. I gotta find these things. I gotta call my uncle. I gotta call uh, my brother. You know." And I'm like, "Oh my gosh," and I, I was like, "Oh man, I lost my phone." And I remember setting it down. I remember I lost it right before the rapture. And uh, and. I was like, "Man, I can't go all the way back and get my phone. Like it's too far. Like I gotta get to." my kids or something like it I don't know what's gonna happen if I go all the way back to get my phone but it was like all the luck like I knew all of my luck was gone and like it was like I couldn't remember I grabbed my buddy's phone and I was talking I was like hey let me use your phone or whatever <clears throat> whoever the construction dude or whatever buddy was there and uh I was gonna use his phone to call but I couldn't remember no numbers I couldn't remember any phone numbers I couldn't remember like m my girl's number. I couldn't remember my uncle Joe's number who I just talked to. I couldn't remember nobody's number. I couldn't get a hold of anybody, and I was stuck without everybody. And I, 
and everybody was so confused man everybody around me in the bar or in the construction site or the area was just so confused and lost man and it was like <clears throat> all of the love was gone and like all you had that was coming was deep worry and, and, and tension and and, and and like friction of, of, of just worry man of just intense worry and it was about the scariest thing I've ever went through in my life. And I woke up, man, just not even five minutes ago. I have to make this. I had to make this video because I don't want to forget or lose anything. There's a couple parts in the dream that I can barely remember before those, but that is the main course of that dream, dude. You guys. This is not a joke, man. You get your home, you get your heart, you get your you get your spirit ready. I know I'm gonna fight for everything I can. Hello, guys. God bless.